has always been provided. Hope has always been provided. That, that's what beginning with God tells us this story, his story. And it began right there with Adam and Eve. They sinned. It killed them. It uncovered their nakedness. It produced shame in the human heart. It separated them from everything that God intended for them to have and to be. They were thrown out and prevented from coming back in. And yet God, who is so rich in mercy, immediately provided hope for them. And through the shedding of the blood of an animal, he made a garment of skin and he covered their shame. And he raised them up and even in the context of their sinfulness, he blessed them. Just like he did with Noah. We, we read about it just a moment ago because God looked down as he tells us his story and he sees the human heart and, and it grieved him that every inclination of the heart of man was wicked and that man would sin against him and, and would do that which was grievous in his sight. And yet the Bible tells us in verse 8 of chapter 6, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. You know, right here in front of me today, we, we had a, a prayer meeting last Sunday night for my hope with Billy Graham coming November this year. And, and all across the nation, there are churches and places and institutions gearing up uh, to, to listen as God's servant tells us about Jesus who went to the cross and who gave his life for a people like you and me and all across America. Even right here in Spartanburg, people are praying for people like you and me that we too would know that hope has been provided. For we can have peace with God through Jesus Christ. And so, beginning on Sunday night, our people began to come forward and right here on this beautiful Bible, they began to write down the names of, of their friends and, and, their, and family and, and people, and they just came and placed it on, on the story, <laughs> on the story, on God's story, on the Bible. And there are just scores and scores of names of, of moms and dads and and, and parents and, and brothers and, and sisters and friends and people that are precious to us that we are, are praying for, that they would know that when you begin with God, that you, you, you very quickly, very quickly will discover that hope has been provided. But there's one more thing. When you begin with God, you will, you will very quickly see that blessings have always been an integral part of God's purpose for the people for whom Christ died. Blessings. I, I just want to give you a heads up because we're going to read it in the story all the way through. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. And God blessed them, and God blessed them, and God blessed me, and God blessed you.